Today, Electra Pages is here at Munich 2022 Electronica, and I am joined by Benjamin from Samsung Electromechanical. Yeah, so, it's yeah. Samsung Electromechanics. Thank you for the introduction. It's oh, Electromechanics, sorry, not Electromechanical, yeah. sorry. <laughs> doesn't, always... doesn't matter. There, yeah, we, we, there are so many Samsung, so we always yeah. shorten this to Samco, so that Samco. our customers normally yeah. also use this term so that we don't get confused with other Samsungs which are legally independent. So, so it's not that Samsung has divisions, there are independent companies that operate independently. Yes, sure. I mean, we also have some divisions. Uh, yeah. We make uh, passive components, substrates and cameras, yeah. but all the other stuff is in different yes. legally independent companies. Interesting. So, um, so the product that I think you wanted to talk to, to the audience today was uh, multi-layer ceramic capacitors. Yeah, correct? yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, the application engineering team leader here for Europe, and uh, we have a big team, uh, yeah, a growing team, let's say, uh, for our MSCC, specifically for automotive. We are also in the industrial area, but in automotive, uh, there we have the most potential to grow because we stepped in a little later than others into this automotive market. We are now worldwide number two for overall MSCC, but in uh, automotive, we still need to get there. Interesting. So could you tell us a little bit about the actual multi-layer ceramic capacitors you're, you're manufacturing and integrating into designs? From, yes. a, from a technical point of view, if possible. Yeah, so um, as we, yeah, we are already quite big in this area. We have a lot of things done in-house, and this is also where actually our success uh, actually started from, when we really gained market share. That was when we introduced uh, yeah, our own processes, for example, for making the ceramic powder. Yeah. And since uh, yeah, 2010, around that time, we also introduced our own uh, epoxy layer for, for in, in, increased reliability on, on board flex and we also have some specific uh, ESD products and now uh, today or since since last year we increase our lineup in high voltage area also to target the mega trends like EVs yeah, yeah. and others uh, with high capacity um, and, and those things. Um, so you mentioned high voltage could you give us a bit more information about what, what you define as high voltage and, and What's yeah, okay, so high voltage, so our standard lineup goes up to 100 volt. So right. with 100 volt, you can uh, cover the typical, uh, yeah, how do you say, mid uh, hybrid mm. yes. cars, so with 48 volt uh, right. system voltage. But now you, you need to go to 400 or new designs, 800 volt uh, battery line. Uh, that's, 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 that's a big jump in voltage. Exactly. So yeah. today we can cover parts of the 400 volt uh, systems. Uh, in future, so hopefully starting next year, we will have uh, products that are capable for the 800 volt that, uh, MSC, uh, 800 volt systems with uh, two kilovolt MSCC. And, and, and for those future capacitors, what kind of packages are we looking at in terms of size? Yeah, actually, this uh, is relatively new. Uh, we, we will increase the package size. So, uh, so far, we have been limited up to 1210K size. And uh, in future, we will increase to uh, bigger case sizes to meet the bigger distance required uh, for these higher course, voltages. The, high, the higher voltage is going to have problems with breakdown and stuff. So you have to make sure you've got the space in between the plates. Yeah, breakdown, yeah. also uh, arc over is, arc is, is, is an on, issue. On the side as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. And, and so I take it these are, how, well, how are customers currently coping uh, in these sort of environments? Because they don't have access to those kind of components today. So, so how are they coping? Yeah, so in most cases, uh, actually customers are using different technologies like yeah. uh, film caps yeah. Uh, or um, yeah, maybe some other leaded products. There are some, uh, in some areas actually serious uh, designs would be used, so, so two components in series. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there are other suppliers that might already have those kinds of uh, products, but we see there's a very limited uh, availability in this area. That's also why we go into there. So the current options available to engineers are quite restrictive. Yes. And they result in larger designs, maybe? They result in larger designs and higher cost, yes. Higher cost. And so, and so the advantage with the new uh, multi-layer ceramic capacity that you're introducing is to reduce the overall size and to reduce the overall cost. Yeah, so 
yeah, cost we have to see, but for sure, I mean, the overall system cost might be reduced. On the component, I'm not 100% sure if this will be reduced, but when you can shrink your total design, usually you have an at least overall cost down. So we were talking about uh, the, applica the applications for multi-layer ceramic capacitors, and we looked at things like, you know, EVs and high voltage systems. Um, but what are the specific uses in those applications? Like, are they being used for decoupling? Are they used for uh, energy storage? What is it that they're, they're really being used for? Yeah, so today we, uh, our products are mainly, mainly used in onboard chargers. Um, so for, uh, yeah, the, this limited uh, high voltages, yeah. high, high voltage application, so 630 volt, for example, rated voltage of the MSC. Um, and uh, in future, we target actually the inverter. So uh, COG, for example, is used as a snubber cap at the MOSFET. Ah, yes. And uh, currently, we are not in the DC link cap, which right. really stores the energy. This is somewhat a target, yeah, at least as an additional component. In most cases, I would say it's not the only product used there because you still need very high capacity. Yeah. And then it's just adding for low ESR, for example, MSCC have the lowest ESR, so you have some advantages if you combine different technologies. And those kind of uh, characteristics are extremely important in modern EV charging, basically. Yeah. So that's why they're, they're being used. Uh, brilliant. Um, and so my final question to you would be that if an engineer out there wants to use Samsung, mm -hmm. is it electromechanic? Electromechanics. Electromechanics, yeah. yeah, I always get this one wrong. So <laughs> if an engineer out there wants to use a uh, Samsung electromechanics components, what would be the best thing for them to do? Um, I think we have a quite uh, good website nowadays where you can find, uh, search our products, uh, either by typing in the part number with uh, yeah, some blanks or uh, dashes in between to, to uh, have uh, yeah many options or you can also just click on it and, and then find something if you don't find just uh, contact us give the contact yeah uh, and, and in terms in, of technical in Europe. In integration do you have technical support to help engineers integrate yes. these capacitors yeah we have uh, nowadays we have one two three four uh, four application engineers here mm. locally in uh, germany and we are currently hiring so, oh, so there's a job position out there if you want to become a technical engineer with Samsung. exactly <laughs> So, uh, yeah, would be possible in Frankfurt, Munich, or Frankfurt, Stuttgart. Munich. Okay. So that's all we have time for today. Thank you ever so much for taking the time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.